Tummy tucks are one of the most common procedures we do in our clinic. And do you know that a big part of a tummy tuck is actually a rectus diastasis repair? And people have no idea what I'm talking about when I say rectus diastasis or a rectus diastasis repair. They don't even know where the rectus abdominis muscle is. That's the washboard ab muscle that gives you the six pack that we all want. With weight gain, with pregnancy, that muscle can spread apart from the midline and it can really affect the way you look and the way your core muscles function. We repair that at the time of a tummy tuck and it makes a huge difference. Check out this video. It will give you all the information you need on this issue and the repair. So why are tummy tucks so transformative? We do them all the time in our clinic why do you see such a big change? Everyone just thinks, well, you take away the excess skin, the fat I don't like there, maybe some stretch marks, and that's why I look so good. That's not really the reality. Probably the biggest reason is those of you that have erectus diastasis, and we repair that at the time of your surgery. So what is erectus diastasis? With pregnancy, with weight gain, and other conditions, the rectus abdominis muscle, that vertical muscle, that washboard ab muscle in the midline of your belly gets pushed to the side. The fullness from the inside of your belly gets pushed out and it pushes that muscle over. And unfortunately, it doesn't go back. And that is true even if you go to Pilates and do crunches and anything else, it's not going to push that muscle back where it's supposed to be. With a tummy tuck, we repair that. So let's take a look at it before and after. You can see before here, she has excess skin and soft tissue and fat that she doesn't like. She also has some stretch marks. But a big part of her problem is that pooched belly appearance that everyone hates uh, from pregnancy. And look at the after. You can see that it, she's so much better. The contour of her belly, the excess skin, the excess fat's gone. But really, it's that diastasis recti or rectus diastasis repair. This is a big part of the tummy tuck. And to look at what a diastasis is of the rectus muscle, rectus abdominis muscle, I have this picture here. And you can see, I've drawn it on there for you. You can see that the muscle, the vertically oriented muscle, is pushed out away from the belly button. And you can see here the after. Big, big difference. And with suture techniques, we bring that muscle in, and it's a huge improvement in the appearance of her trunk and her contour. So... If you're someone who's suffering from a diastasis recti or a rectus diastasis, so you can say it both ways, uh, a repair at the time of a tummy tuck is hugely transformative. And by the way, it not only improves your appearance, but can improve your functionality. If you suffer from lower back pain or just difficulty with core strength, this makes the biggest difference. So rectus diastasis, easily repaired with the tummy tuck. So when I'm doing consults for tummy tucks, more often than not, people have erectus diastasis and it's, it really does bring about a lot of confusion. They're like, what is that? I don't understand. But it's a common, common problem. And so I asked them, I said, when you're standing there, do you have to flex your stomach muscles, your belly muscles all the time so you don't have that pooched belly appearance? Do you suffer from lower back pain? Do you feel like your core strength is totally changed after pregnancy or weight gain? Those are definitive signs that you probably have erectus diastasis. And we do an examination uh, during that consult where I can really feel your belly and know for sure. And how do we repair that? In the operating room with a tummy tuck, we bring those muscles back together. I use a suturing technique and strengthen the abdominal wall, the belly wall, bring those muscles back where they should be. Uh, it's pretty amazing. It takes about 20 minutes during the surgery and recovery. This definitely adds to your recovery. If someone tells you it does not, they're pulling your leg, okay? Anytime you suture your belly wall, the, the, the fascia on top of the muscles that are there, it's gonna be painful. Anytime you move after surgery, from a laying to a sitting position, from a sitting to a standing position, you're gonna have pain. But that pain is short-lived, a couple weeks. You could be back at the gym by four weeks and uh, back doing you know core work by six to eight weeks. So. Remember that it's not just the incision or the drains that cause discomfort with the tummy tuck. It really is that muscle repair. So let's take a look at 
a patient of ours who definitely had erectus diastasis. You can see here, this is her before and after. Now she's older, she waited a long time to come in. Not only did she have excess skin and soft tissue there, but she did have a splitting of the muscles. So her results are not just because we removed that excess skin and fat, but we also tighten the muscle. If you're suffering from erectus diastasis and maybe don't even know if you're suffering from erectus diastasis, come on in, we'll take a look at you and tell you exactly what you need to move forward. I always love surgeries that have little hidden benefits. An erectus diastasis repair is definitely one of those surgeries. So we've talked about before the benefits of erectus diastasis. First, it brings those muscles of the belly back together in the midline, and that makes a huge difference for core strength and definitely for people that suffer from lower back pain. It also improves the contour of your belly. It gives you that wonderful contour, especially in profile when you see in the mirror, it brings the stomach muscles back in so you don't have that pooched out belly appearance that everyone hates. But there's a hidden benefit, a two for one. It also improves the appearance of your hips. When you bring those stomach muscles, those belly muscles back to the midline, it also brings in the contour of your hips. It gives you that nice hip contour that everyone wants. So to show you this example, let's take a look at this before and after. Now you saw this before. Um, you can see here, I want you to focus on her hips. You can see that she has ill-defined hips. Uh, she has some, obviously has some fat there, but she just really doesn't have a great contour. Now look at after, you can see the big, big difference for her, it's huge. This is a huge change for her and a big part of that is the rectus diastasis repair. So if you have a rectus diastasis or you think you have a rectus diastasis and you wanna get it repaired, you're gonna to have tons of benefit, but you're also gonna have a benefit along your hips, which is, it's an amazing part of a tummy tuck, and it's like an added bonus that people really didn't expect to have with the surgery.